And uh, let me, I just, I want to take a little side road here because this has come up to me multiple times in the past week. And I want you to see something. So if you can see uh, right here, my cup is sitting on this table. All right. So if you understand anything about physics, and even if you don't, I'm going to give you uh, just enough to understand the point here. I want you to see uh, a relation <laughs> to a spiritual battle. So if you understand about physics, that this cup has a certain weight to it, and gravity is a force that's pulling the cup and its weight down and onto this table. That's why it will sit there. Um, but you have to know in physics that if the table itself was not also giving a force upward, then the cup would continuously fall. In order for that cup to sit still on the table, the table must uh, be backed by force pushing up. So you have two forces that are actually pushing together to hold that thing still. Now, when we're in a spiritual battle, if you can understand that, so for example, your chair, that chair is exerting a force up to hold you up in the air. Same thing with me. Um, so if you have two forces like this, when you have a tug of war, you actually see the two forces fighting each other like this. And the reason why they're at a stalemate and somewhat in the middle is because they both have an equal force. But when one force is greater than the other, it will move that, that direction. Okay. Now, understand this. In a spiritual battle and with your, uh, your faith project, you are in an, a project that is really a battle of two forces. And when you understand that, you'll see that there's two forces going on. There's the resistance of the enemy, and there's our resistance against him. Mm -hmm. So you have the devil trying to bring in, uh, let's say, uh, financial, He's, or let's say sickness, because that, that will work well. He's trying to bring in sickness into you, and then you say, no, I'm the healed of the Lord. And so you bring in, and you can apply this to any faith project, you bring in faith to resist him. Now, what happens is, we're, if this is you here, then we're always paying attention to the force that the devil's attacking us with. And that's what we feel, that's what we see. And, uh, but here's one thing that's very important. Do you not realize that the same force that you feel on you is actually the force that's being applied against him as well. And here's the difference, though. Whereas he's sitting there as a defeated foe, he can only stand there for so long. Because you got, put your hand up here and, and push, you got the power of Jesus and the Holy Ghost backing you. And so what you're feeling, so right before the devil knows, I can't do this any longer, he tries to psych you out. I'm mm -hmm. just giving you a lot of scripture basically mm -hmm. in, a, in a context that you can understand it. Right before, all right, put your hand back up here. Right before uh, the devil gets pushed down, what he will try to do is say, I'm about to lose. So let me psych out that believer, and I'm going to put everything I got into one last final push to try and get him to back down. Because if the believer will step out of faith, he loses this spiritual force. And so the devil will go, Ugh! with everything he's got. And so that's why a lot of times the battle's hardest right before it ends. Yeah. But if that believer will stay in faith and rest... There's no other option but for a defeated foe to fall. And so a lot of times we're paying attention to the pressure that's applied to us, but we don't realize that's actually the pressure that's getting applied to the devil. Mm -hmm. it's, we're not in the defensive, we're in the offensive. Yeah. We're in Christ, and as he is, mm -hmm. so are we in this world. Yeah. We're on the offensive. He's mm -hmm. the one that's on the defensive. And when we see that, we can sit there and feel the pressure and be in rest because we know we got a backer. You know, we know we got the backing of the anointing of yeah. God, and we know this thing's all, why? Because God's always leading us to triumph. Yeah. If this is what God told us to do, mm -hmm. then God is always leading us to triumph. We yeah. already have triumph in our hands. We are, we are not fighting from a position of defense. We're fighting from a position of offense, yeah. and we're fighting 
from victory when we start. Mm -hmm. When we start, we're yeah. already at victory. Yeah. But now if you know that, then you'll be in the middle of the battle resting like Jesus was in the middle of the storm asleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, nope. peace, be still, and the storm ceases. Yeah. All he had to do was finish applying the Word of God and the provision in God's Word. Mm -hmm. And so this gives us the ability to rest when we know some of these mm -hmm. things and know yeah. that we are already in Christ. We're already seated in mm -hmm. heavenly places at the right hand of the Father mm -hmm. in, in the position of authority. He's always leading us to triumph. And this is how we win. And I can't tell you how many times we've won because we know this.